morning everyone, I'm Koei. Today I will present our research topic to you. Our research topic is the risk of being sex after swimming in Hong Kong Beach. So uh, we want to find the relationship between swimming and the chance of getting sick. So we are interested in this topic. So uh, it's, it's important because swimming is uh, one of the most popular activity in Hong Kong. And however, our beach is uh, subjected to uh, animal waste and domestic sewage. So uh, we need to protect them. If you continue to dirty the beach, then our beach will become full of rubbish and the water is no longer suitable for us to for us to swim. If we swim in this polluted water, then we will get this kind of symptom, including vomiting, diarrhea, cold, cold and fever. So we need to protect our health and also the marine life. So one one of the uh, solution is maintain the beach water quality. Here's come to the literature review part. I have already read six journal. And the method they use in this journal is very similar. Um, the first step is they do the water sampling. They sample the uh, concentration of different kinds of bacteria and virus in the seawater. Then one of the most common indicators is the E. coli. Then the second step is they do the interview. First they will do the initial interview to interview the swimmer immediately after this when then they after a few days they will uh, do the follow up telephone interview to see whether they get sick or not. So after they get these two set of data of data, they will pop graph to illustrate the relationship between illness and the probability of uh, probability of getting illness and the water quality. So here is the result. Colbert, uh, he found that those who swim for us uh, swim for more than 30 minutes will have a uh, 4.6 times more likely to develop gastrointestinal disease than the non swimmer or who swim uh, on uh, less fewer than 30 minutes. Also, Wong also found that the eye infection and the skin infection is that the chance of occur is are uh, also higher than the non swimmer. For eyes it's twenty times and for skin is four times. So the above two uh, studies only focus on the adult and for Alexander he uh, just focus on the children of uh, getting sex after swimming and, and this is the symptom they may appear after swimming including vomiting, diarrhea, itchy skin, fever, lack of energy and loss of appetite. Also, if we get sick, we need to go to see the doctor. The money, the public health court is, which is about 51 million US dollar in California. There is a great loss of money because they sick uh, after swimming. So, but it seems that swimming, uh, swimming is in at the beach is very dangerous, but. Uh, Wong also found that if we can swim in a good beach, then we will not uh, have a significant health risk. So what is a good beach is it can be found the uh, E. coli concentration. If the number of E. coli is less than 24, then it is a good beach. After I read this, uh, Journal, I found there a is a gap between if it is a gap, so we need to do better. For example, um, the study only cover two beach beaches in Hong Kong: is the Repulse Bay and the Butterfly Beach uh, base, and also 
the symptom um, is self-reported, is that carry out the clinical test is not reliable and also uh, the healthy metal and the chemical may have the chance to affect our health is they also haven't uh, included also um, there are many variable, uh, variable factors for example the uh, weather, the salinity of the water, the concentration of dissolved oxygen also will affect the result so conclusion in our study, I would like to investigate more pop, uh, popular features in London, maybe five or more. Also, uh, take the physical factor into account. And it may be uh, because it may affect the results. So uh, we need to uh, focus on it. The finally, is uh, carry out the clinical test instead of just the three months tell if they get sick or not, then it can be more reliable. Uh, here is the reference. That's the end of my presentation.